everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've been away, but I am back. I am finally in my new house and I'm trying to set up everything the way I want. So my beauty room is not really how I want it right now, but it's slowly coming together. Um, so I wanted to kind of jump into it and review some products. So I picked up two new products at the drugstore. I picked up the Maybelline Contour Stick and I also picked up the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. Uh, I'm not really into the whole strobing thing, but I think this would be a nice highlighter, so I'm going to try it as a highlighter. Um, you want to know the prices of these bad boys? I was watching a video, and the girl was like, oh, uh, she's from the United States. She's like, oh, this was $8.99. I was like, $8.99. I paid, <clears throat> paid $17.99 for this. Strobing stick was $14.99. We pay a lot more here. But I guess their money's worth more there, so I totally understand. But that's another rant. So I picked up the medium contour stick. I actually have the light in my hand, but I did a little research before, and I the girl that was doing the uh, forget her name, I think her name's Sam. She was doing the review, and she was lighter than me, and she had the medium, and so it worked well on her skin tone. So I decided to get the medium because I feel like the light would probably be too light. So let's open this. Medium. It gives you instructions, so if you're like a first time contour, it does tell you um, on the side of the package what to do. So it says apply dark shade along jawline, hollows of cheeks and blend, and then apply light side on high points of the face. So it's telling you to do one thing and then blend, do the other thing, then blend. I'm probably gonna put it all over my face and then blend it all out. This is a little bit interesting because of the double-sidedness of it. So it can probably get messy if you start mixing the two. So you really need to concentrate like only using the light side and then only using the dark side. Uh, the highlight shade to me is a little yellow, but I haven't put it on yet. Okay, so let's contour this potato face. Because my face looks like a potato, doesn't it? No contour? Potato? Kinda. Okay, so here we go. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm a little nervous. I, th this whole double-sided thing is freaking me out. So I'm gonna kind of, instead of like leaving it the way it is, I think that'd be too hard to work with, I'm gonna roll this up. Roll it up, roll it up. Okay, so we're rolling it up. So what I'm going to do, should I do the highlight shade first? I'm gonna do the highlight. <laughs> okay, so praying no brown gets on my face. I am going to highlight. It's a little awkward because you kind of just you kind of want to use it like that, but you have to use it on its side. So so far this color I was kind of scared of, but you know I'm liking it. I'm also going to take it down the center of my nose. And I'm gonna go in between the eyebrows. It's looking a little thick, so I don't know how it's gonna blend out, but we'll find out. And usually I would put some on my cupid's bow, but I feel like I'll just mess my life up if I do that right now, so I'm gonna avoid that step. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take the contour side. Just some advice, it's better to go higher with your contour than lower because you can always blend it. Um, if you need it to be a little lower, you can blend it down, but if you go too low, it's kind of like you messed it up a bit. So just keep it a little bit higher. And then I'm going to take a little bit just on the temples. And then we're going to do the nose. I feel like though for the nose, this is a little challenging, but I'm going to make it work. The color of the um, contour, it's a, it's ashy, but it's not too, it's not grayish. It has a, still a little bit of warmth in it. So if you like contours that are like just totally ashy, this might not be your thing, but um, so far, I don't know, it's not too bad. Taking my Quo Beauty Sponge, you get these at Shoppers Drug Mart, they're $6. And honestly, I've used the um, Beauty Blenders from Sephora. To be quite honest with you, I do like these better. I like how the surface of these are more flat, so they really push the product in. I find with the round bottoms, I find it's kind of hard to really push that product in because it's not flat like these ones. And then they have the side too, where it's pointed, where it's really good to get underneath the eye. 
So here we go. I'm just gonna start with the highlight shade first. I put no concealer on, just foundation before this video and no powder. I thought it was thick because when it went on it looked like it could be a little cakey, but after blending it out with this sponge, I don't know if this sponge helps, but it is actually really, really, like it goes on really nice. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques, um, it's their contour brush. I was going to use a sponge, I still might use a sponge, but I think for my cheekbones, this is going to work nicely right now. This product is super easy to blend. Some cream contours, the reason why I don't like them, and the reason why I don't use them, because I find that they are very, very hard to blend out, but I can tell you that this is pretty awesome to blend. Like, it's blending out really nicely. The color is nice, it's not too muddy. It still has that little bit of warmth in it that makes you look not dirty, which I really appreciate. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more just to do a tiny bit more of a contour. And then if you want, you can go back in with your beauty blender with no extra product and just tap all along just to make sure everything is seamless and blended. I find this really helps in the end if you just kind of tap everything together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of cream blush. I usually don't use cream blush, but when I am using cream products, I'm going to try cream blush today. So I'm going to go with the Joe Fresh Cream Blush Stick in the color Radiant Rosette. I really do like these. You can find them at the drugstore. They're very affordable. So it looks like this is like a pinky shade. I'm just gonna take it on a Quo cream blush brush. Cream blush always makes me nervous. Don't know why. I feel like I can't blend it out as good, but it does give you this super radiant look. It gives you a healthy look. So I'm just tapping that on my face. I don't like to put it directly onto my cheek. Sometimes I feel like it can be too much. So I just like to tap it just on the apples of my cheek. This blush gives you a super healthy, radiant look. Just before I do my highlighting thing, I just want to set my under eye just before it creases. So I'm just going to take the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Powder and I'm just going to tap my highlighted areas. Now I'm going to get this going. So there's two shades of this. There's a lighter shade, number 100, which is pinky. And then there's this goldish shade, which is 200. And it's called Medium Nude Glow. I went for the gold one because I thought it looked super nice. And nice for summertime. I'm just gonna put it directly on my face using this stick. Try that out. I didn't use any powder yet to uh, set this area. So if you did use powder, it could get a little bit funny. I'm just taking that blush brush that I just used and I'm just tapping this all over. This is a very natural glow and I like it. It's not too much. I feel like if I had to get the lighter one, I feel like it also would have looked nice, but it definitely would have been more noticeable, which is great too, but I feel like for an everyday subtle glow, I feel like number 200, if you were like a, you know, for a light medium skin tone, not too fair. I feel like number 200 would be nice. It's gonna take a little bit of this, put it on my tip of the nose and also bring it down the center. You can also highlight the Cupid's bow. A little hard for me right now, I have lipstick on if I didn't have 
If you really want to complete this look, just take a little bit of contour powder. I'm just using the Benefit Hula Powder on a brush. And then if you really just want to set the contour, just go where you placed it with a little bit of contour, not too much, just a little. Do a little on the forehead. It just kind of sharpens everything up. This is the end of my video. Um, I actually do love these products. Excellent. I don't really like cream products to be to, just to start with. I find they're difficult to use. I find they're not really a beginner friendly thing. Um, but these blended like a dream and the color for the medium stick was definitely really, really nice. Even though in the package the highlight shade does look a little yellow, it is not. It's a really, really nice highlight color. And the um, Contour shade is also lovely. And if you're looking for a really natural highlight, this number 200 is really, really nice. If you want something more that stands out, maybe more nighttime glam, the number 100 would definitely give you more of that like really stark highlight. But I feel like this is a really nice, subtle glow. And overall, really just contouring, highlighting really, really shapes your face nicely. It really, really accentuates in your face. Because before this video, I looked like a potato. And now I kind of look like... Um, I don't know, maybe like a squash. Squash has that, you know, contour going on. But either or, I feel prettier. So thanks, Maybelline. Uh, two great products. I do highly recommend these. Really, really nice. Pick them up at a drugstore near you. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and vote for me for president. Have a nice day.